I do a series of videos showing you a function in Cricut Design Space, and then I'm going to hop over to the Create software, which I use for my StarCraft Solo machine. I'm hoping that these videos will really help people like me that normally started off using the Cricut and now are trying to figure out the StarCraft Solo. So the first topic we're going to talk about is Slice. I'm just going to use some free basic shapes. And I'm just going to make that bigger. And let's even change the color just so it's prettier than being the ugly gray. So Slice in Cricut Design Space allows you to cut something. You have to have the object you're going to cut and then tell it where its cutting line is. We're going to put a square over the heart so that we're telling it to slice off half of the heart. The other thing with slice is to remember you can only have two things selected. So when I do a window around these, I can look at my layers panel and see I have one, two things selected. I can then say slice. And there's half of the heart. You also get the scrap of the square, the scrap of this side of the heart, and that side of the original heart. So now I want to talk about a newer feature in Cricut Design Space called subtract. So if I had that same heart and square, and I select both of them and I go to the new combine button and use subtract, you'll see what happens is it removes all that extra stuff that I didn't want anyway. So you could transition from using slice to subtract. So now you can see we jumped over to the StarCraft Create software. Let's do the exact same thing. I'm going to go to my shapes button right here. I'm going to right click so I can see the different shapes that are in there. You'll notice there's not a heart. So I'm going to go up here to the library. In this library, there is a whole folder called basic shapes. And that heart looks pretty much like the heart we did in the other example. So let's use that. I'm going to hold my shift key as I make this larger to keep it proportional. So now I can go over here and I'm going to pick the rectangle and put that in. Click on the arrow. Now I can select this. I'm going to make it a different color just so that we can see the difference. And actually, since in the original, I did pink. Let's just keep consistent. Okay. So we're going to select everything and go to path. And now I'm going to say back minus front, because what I'm telling it is I want to keep the back piece minus what is overlapping in the front. So you can see the end result is basically what we got with subtract. It removed all that stuff over here that we didn't want. We just want to mention, you can see that I didn't get this heart exactly halfway. And I was just doing this really quick, but let's take a step back. And if I take this away, I can actually slide it slowly and see how that blue line shows up. That's kind of snapping it to the center, which is something you can't do in design space. Before you go, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. I love to hear from you.